Hello, I'm Holly Rose, founder and CEO of the local nonprofit Don't Be a Chump, Check for a Lump. Our mission is to make a difference in the fight against breast cancer through education, prevention, and direct assistance with free wigs. We are very well known for our wig out program that provides free wigs for breast cancer patients. It is extremely innovative. It's different from every other program in the state. Other programs operate as a wig bank with limited choices on hand. Ours is not a wig bank. Our clients can walk into a normal wig shop, pick out any wig of her choice, and we pay the bill up to $250 so she can look just like herself. We have assisted over 900 women with a free wig, and we are currently assisting close to one woman a day. I hope to impact our valley far beyond our assistance program that provides free wigs. I hope to make a giant wave in breast cancer education and prevention. The American Cancer Society estimates that over 255,000 women will be struck with breast cancer every year. Over 41,000 women will die of breast cancer every year. These dead women, if alive, would fill the entire Chase Field Stadium. I learned a large portion of these cases could be prevented. Mass women attend breast cancer awareness events and they walk away with the perception that they have been educated, when in reality they learn very little about the disease and prevention. Through polling, I discovered women confuse screening guidelines, neglect self-exams and timely mammograms. They have no idea that 30% of all cancer is lack of proper nutrition and are absolutely flabbergasted to learn that many of their beauty and household products contain cancer-causing chemicals. I approach women every day and I ask them if they would like to hear facts and prevention tips on breast cancer and their response is like my 9 and 10 year old girls when I started talking to them about drugs. They covered their ears and they yelled out, I'm not listening, I'm not listening, I'm not ready for this. And they were ready. The majority of women are com in our community are doing the same thing with breast cancer. They're overly optimistic regarding their risk and they're thinking, it doesn't run in my family. I don't need to worry. And they don't take the time to educate themselves and learn the facts and make any changes and they stay in denial. I can share with you what made me step up. I was 39 years old and my friend shared a breast self reminder on Facebook. Whatever crazy reason, fate, God, luck, it stuck in my head and I did a self-exam that night and I discovered a lump that turned out to be breast cancer. I went through nine months of horrifying treatment and there was nothing pretty or pink about it. Nine months of lying on the couch and watching my girls walk out the door, watching my husband walk out the door and watching my life pass me by. And for nine months, I asked God, will I be here? <laughs> will I be here for my babies? to teach them, to guide them, to comfort them, encourage them, love them. Will I be here? And then I learned that less than 10% of breast cancer is hereditary. And let me restate that for you. 90% of women who get breast cancer have absolutely no family history of breast cancer. A very large portion is preventable. And so I sat in that chemo chair and I vowed to educate myself so that I can make sure that this awful disease never came back again. I picked up a book on, on nutrition and then another and then poured through articles in the American Cancer Society, the Environmental Working Group, and many, many more. And then I made drastic changes to improve my health and I continue on my prevention path and choose one thing every single month to lower my risk of breast cancer and every other cancer. I am asking women to do the same, to step up to prevention. It doesn't have to be scary and they don't have to cover their ears. It's like my daughters when we started talking about drugs. I didn't talk about needles and heroin first. I talked about smoking cigarettes and marijuana and how to say no and how to come to me for help. And we want women to do the same, to make baby steps. We want to provide an easy entry path for women to step up. We're blazing a new trail and companies are following us.
Don't be a chump, check for a lump has gathered the support from our local medical community with prestigious education sponsors like Arizona Oncology, Golly Plastic Surgery, John C. Lincoln, now Honor Health. We've gained the support of philanthropic leaders in our community like Copper Point Mutual Insurance, Arizona Bank and Trust, Sun State Equipment, Spinados, and more. We've even gained the support of national sponsors like Hologic. And now we've gained the support of a national reality TV show, Every Color Matters, a Christian-based company. Our nonprofit will be highlighted in one of their episodes in their series, and it will be aired nationally on Amazon and 22 additional networks. GCU can be highlighted too. Through Every Color Matters, we have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to work with Cheryl Crow. Cheryl Crow is going to put on a concert for those who support Every Color Matters and those who support Don't Be a Chump, Check for a Lump. Cheryl Crow is a breast cancer survivor herself and knows the devastation that is caused by breast cancer. So she is stepping up to help us make a difference. Cheryl Crow could also bring attention to GCU. We are taking this golden opportunity and hope you do too, to reel women in for education. We are going to launch our pink out party in October and provide much more than pink tutus, tiaras, and awareness of the disease itself. At our pink out party, we're gonna dance, we're gonna play games, we're gonna laugh and sing, and at the end of the day, women will have a bucket load of memories here at GCU. And the next day, it will sink in that we did more than have fun. We empowered women with facts and effective prevention tips to fight breast cancer and provided motivation to make lifestyle choices. We know women come out in October. Breast cancer survivors relish these moments and celebrate winning their fight. And their family and friends come out to support. Facts back this up. In Arizona, approximately 15,000 women attended a walk or run in October. 2,500 of these women are breast cancer survivors. Over $2 million was raised in one year. And this is just from two national organizations in Arizona. We applaud our competition like the American Cancer Society for their valuable example, work, and research they provide. We have been blessed to be one of their health partners that they're making strides against breast cancer. However, upon receiving feedback from our community, we have learned there is a desire for an option to support a local breast cancer nonprofit, one that's different, one that supports our local community instead of national research. That's us. We stand out in the breast cancer community. We're not your typical breast cancer nonprofit. From our name to our crazy fun events, to our free wig program, and to the way we approach education in a fun, exciting, innovative way, we call women to step up to prevention and it works. We are asking GCU to step up to fight breast cancer with us because we believe that you stand out as well. Your mission is strong like ours. You are creating better citizens to make this world a better place. While we are educating women to prevent breast cancer and help save lives, in addition to assisting survivors with free wigs, you're inspiring creative, critical thinkers, and we're inspiring women to make healthy choices and instill compassion and giving. You are leading our youth to become leaders themselves by example, and we are leading the way, empowering women by weaving education into breast cancer awareness events. We can assist you in paving the way for your students by providing philanthropic and educational opportunities right here at home. Breast cancer affects all of us one way or another and we don't need to travel abroad to make a difference. We can incorporate opportunities for GCU and your students to become involved. We can offer an entire semester of collaboration with your students initiating, creating, building, executing, and closing an entire grand scale event, one that incorporates your values. With help from your programs, including business, marketing, hospitality, health, theater, dance, and design, 
We can offer hands-on experiences that your students can be a part of right here on campus and reach the emotional and spiritual rewards of giving and making a difference. With your leadership and innovation, you have created an economic engine in West Phoenix. I grew up in the West Valley, so I know the scale of your accomplishments. You are helping the Valley to thrive, the West Valley to thrive. A partnership with our foundation will help provide fuel for your engine to drive even greater success into GCU in the West Valley. I'd like to share my personal experience in discovering GCU. One of my favorite charities to volunteer for outside of our nonprofit is the Back to School Drive. Me and my daughters for years went to a high school on the south side of town to assist students with shopping. And then one year it was moved to GCU. I'll never forget walking onto campus with my girls. I grew up in Phoenix and I remember GCU as a one building college with a mile of grassy land. No one I knew went there. I hadn't dri driven by in years to see its growth and I had no reason to ever consider it for my daughters. And then on that hot summer morning, we walked onto a beautiful inviting campus. I couldn't believe how large it had become. We spent the day in the luxurious arena, and I remember thinking what a great opportunity for all of these kids to witness what it's like on a college campus, and how beautiful that GCU stepped up to provide that opportunity. As we left the building, I spotted a poster advertising a dance program event. My daughter is a dancer, a true diehard, I just want to dance kind of girl. Being a dance major in Arizona, you don't have too many options. I had already looked at them. NAU had none. U of A was a top 10 dance school and the realistic chance of her getting in was slim. We believed our only other option was ASU. The thought of a giant party school terrified my shy little girl who was afraid of the world. She's one of the few who says no to drugs and alcohol. She stands out too. Little did we know until that summer day that there was another option, Grand Canyon University, a place where she would feel safe and at home. And so I, her mother, as soon as I got home, looked up your dance program and lucky us there was a dance camp starting next week. We had just enough time to squeeze her in. She spent one week living on your campus and taking dance courses. And when I picked her up, she excitedly said, Mom, this is the place for me. This is my school. She auditioned for your dance program and was accepted with scholarships and is excited to move on to your campus in August. Had we not attended your charitable gift to the back to school drive, we never would have taken a look at GCU. Our pink out party we are proposing and humbly asking for the gift of your arena for the day. We'll provide GCU the same beautiful opportunity to expose women, mothers, what GCU has to offer their children, who like me never would have glanced your way had I not stepped on campus. You will have the opportunity to showcase your school and how you stand out, how you are impacting the West Valley and creating leaders and critical thinkers who have compassion and spirituality. You also have the special opportunity to attract women through their sense of loyalty to supporting breast cancer. This branding is powerful and the results of your donation will trickle down to impact your mission, increasing admissions, jobs in the Valley, improving the West Valley. Breast cancer is a multi-million dollar entertainment industry fueled by women wanting to make a difference in breast cancer. We ask you, GCU, to align with us, align with these women, with every Cancer Matters reality TV show, with Cheryl Crow, with our local media and our sponsors. With your help, we can also raise funds to continue our valuable programs. Education and prevention is vital to a cure. It will also assist us in sustaining our free wig program to provide every breast cancer patient the comfort and dignity they deserve. It will also allow you an opportunity to raise funds through your concessions. My path 
is not one I chose for myself, but one I feel God placed me on. I've always questioned, even often, is this really my path, God? I'm scared to death of public speaking, and you've asked me to share my deepest, most vulnerable times with the world again and again. Really? This is my path? And every time I question God, Oprah staff would call, or Facebook headquarters wanting to fly me out, wanting to hear my story. It was as if God himself would slap me and say, Holly, yes, I already told you this is your path. Now go share. And you can't really argue with God, or at least I can't. And so I did. I made it my mission to help save another woman, another mother, another wife sister or friend from breast cancer through early detection. My dream is to motivate women and young girls to actively take steps and make lifestyle choices to lowering their risk of breast cancer so they never have to go through this horrifying disease. Education and prevention is vital. My dream is to be able to continue to assist every woman going through breast cancer with a free wig. My path is my passion, and I believe God has led me every step of the way. I now believe he has led me to you. GCU, lobes up, please step up with me to fight breast cancer. 255,000 women do not have to suffer through breast cancer, and 41,000 certainly do not have to die. We can eliminate a large portion of these incidences. Together, we really can make a difference. I thank you so much for your time and your consideration. Live and give, Ali Lovsky.